Hey everyone, so um, it's a good day to be in the shop, it's rainy and nasty out, so I figured I'd start a project that I've been looking forward to starting, and it's um, a little wooden hand plane. I bought a kit from Lee Valley, it's a Veritas um, hardware kit for making wood hand planes. I selected this piece of uh, Jara, um, which is a wood native to Australia, it's really red. I built a um, bookshelf uh, a couple weeks ago out of, uh, and, I, and I made the top out of jar, and I'll, I'll show a picture of that right here. We need a blank to start with, a wooden block, and it needs to be eight inches long by three inches by two and a half inches. So I don't have any blocks of wood that way, um, that size. So what we're going to do is we'll. Um, cut this into two pieces and glue it together and use that as our blank. You see all those spots in there? Really unique. Really cool. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to flatten and join a couple faces so that when I put them in the, the saws they have a good 90 degree flat surface roughly. <laughs> So it takes a little bit of a deeper cut. There we go. All right, here's the how I want the two blocks glued together. Um, the top will have these really cool lateral lines running across them. Each end kind of has some diagonal striping too, which looks really cool. And then the sides. So this, these are awesome pieces of wood. So what I need to do now is the inside rough edges, I need to plane these dead flat so that they can glue together. Use the wood plane. So to back this iron out a little bit. You can hear it. It's taking a much finer cut. I got this wooden hand plane at a uh, antique store that was going out of business for like 10 bucks or something like that. Came home and tuned it up, took care of the uh, a lot of work on the blade, the blade, the iron, flatten the bottom, and <clears throat> looks really nice. So now I'm going to glue these up.
All right, so the glue, the glue up went really good. Everything looks really nice and tight. Um, so now I'm gonna use a table saw and cut this thing down a little bit. Um, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my hand plane again and get this, this face really, really flat so that it'll run up against my uh, table saw fence and I'll, it'll end up being two and a half inches tall. So. cut off each side so that I leave myself an inch and 11 sixteenths here in the middle. And then these side pieces will get uh, glued back on later. Oh, hey oops, how's it going? So, um, jump back over to the table saw. Three inches from the front, 45 degree angle here, and that's the uh, plain iron bed. This is my top. Then I come a quarter inch up from the bottom. and a half back from that line. All right, now I'm going to, you need to remove this waste material so that it's nice even line. Alright, so I need to remove this waste on each side. My pieces are cut and ready. It's time to glue this baby up. Then you take your plain blade and just put it down into the bed.
<laughs> All right, look at this. Can you get any more uh, clamps on there? Jeez. All right, so now I need to drill a quarter inch hole through the plain body so the, the brass pin that'll hold the lever cap on. Uh, we'll go through this hole, so. All right, I have the shape that I want this plane to be drawn out on there. So I'm gonna take it over to the bandsaw and, and cut these pieces out. Shape, shape this a little bit before I do any more cutting. Alright, so now for some further shaping. If you can see the pencil marks on there at all, I'm going to take uh, my rasps and basically do a lot of shaping. I don't know how to, you can see it's marked up on all the different edges. It's going to be really kind of three dimensional, hopefully comfortable to the hand. You can see it's going to get shaped in the back too. So now the real work begins. And 46 minutes later. Now well, there she is. All shaped up nice and pretty. I like how it turned out. Alright, so now I'm going to uh, flatten the bottom. I just have a piece of 150 grit um, stick back sandpaper. Can you see? Hey everyone, that's the end of part one. I uh, appreciate you coming out and watching it. Make sure you click subscribe and like the video and comment. Um, I'll post a link to part two in the description where I might be able to get a box up here or over here somewhere. So stick around for that. I appreciate you watching. Have a good one.